Hey, welcome to the iPad Apps First Look channel and this is a review of a app that could be very very useful and easy to use if you like to take pictures uh, with your iPhone and uh, want to improve uh, the quality of your pictures and it's called Photoshop Express so the Adobe Photoshop Express it's free of charge on the App Store uh, and here you see the uh, icon, which is a blue icon with a, uh, a little white logo. Um, it looks like a P for like probably Photoshop. Um, first of all, it's kind of surprising that Adobe would um, basically give out a free app for um, pictures and um, it's really 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 nice it is easy to use and that's what I like about this uh, Adobe Photoshop Express so here we'll start the app here we go so let's uh, just close here okay um, actually I'll uh, get out and just stop it and go back inside so Photoshop Express um, you've got a small tutorial at the beginning where you can uh, you will be explained a few things including um, packs that you can buy so the basic program is free but there are some uh, packs settings that you can actually purchase uh, from this uh, for this program so uh, there's some in-app purchases available and probably that's what the want to make sure that you're probably going to do is uh, buy some of those packs to improve even further the quality of the pictures so basically what you do is you uh, either take a picture directly from the camera or you can select a picture directly from your own picture database and so here we'll take a uh, picture already on my database on my camera roll so here we go take here now you can slide it the other way around uh, keep in mind that this is a uh, airplay of the app on my TV uh, via my Apple TV so basically uh, this is one of pictures of a weird thunderstorm actually a big thunderstorm that went through uh, Montreal uh, a few days ago so you just pick out your picture and you have one part at the bottom on the left is the sharing part where you already have the options to share uh, through email Facebook Twitter or Tumblr so that's nice because in the app itself you already have everything you need to share your pictures with other uh, people so that's useful because uh, you might want to share a picture but not necessarily save it in your pictures so for example you might want to change something in one of the pictures that you'll send a friend uh, while keeping just the original in your phone so that's pretty cool for that um, easy sharing in the app itself and on the bottom right you've got that little pen that you click on and it brings on the uh, options that you have and uh, basically a lot of these options are um, you've got the first option at the upper left which is basically kind of an automatic uh, setting for your picture uh, it will improve it depending on the colors and the uh, contrast and everything and you can actually uh, just you know uh, touch the icon at the middle at the bottom and you'll uh, be shown what it looks like with or without the changes so you can see if it was improved or not um, second one is crop uh, straighten if it's a little crooked rotate or flip so depending on what you want to do uh, it gives you a, a little idea here of how it works so you can really flip it around as you see this is very nice because you can make like 
you know, a little correction if the picture is uh, crooked. Uh, of course, you've got the exposure, the brightness, contrast, the hue, saturation, tint, temperature, and this uh, all very easy to change. So what you do is you say, well, maybe it's a little dark. You can just go here, and they're telling you, okay, contrast and uh, saturation. So you start by sliding for contrast, for example here, and you can adjust the brightness on the top. Let's say I want to see more light so that I can see at the bottom, but adjust the contrast so that it looks more like a uh, the original yet keep everything there. So really really a lot of stuff if you like what you changed there's always this little check mark on the bottom uh, right and if you don't you just you know put the little X on the left and that's it you're back to simply the regular picture uh, what else black and white colorize you can sketch you can uh, focus or soft focus sharpen reduce the noise if there's too much noise in your picture which it looks like little grains and uh, finally there's effects borders and red eye so it's really easy to just modify a picture and if everything is like you want then you can save it to your iPhone you can send it to a friend so here for example I choose rainbow effect and here we go and you can slide once again to adjust the rainbow effect on your picture so you can actually make really cool pictures if you like what you did you just check mark and uh, basically as you choose it's gonna save a copy of the picture um, in your uh, iPhone or iPad and so um, it's really really nice um, and if you go back to your album, you'll see that you'll have two times the picture. I have my regular one that's here. And if I go back, I've got the changed picture. So it doesn't alter or change the original, which is always what you want, because you always want to keep the original as it is. So free of charge, you've got a really, really nice piece of software to um, basically change your pictures put them uh, you know in, improve the quality of the picture and um, like I said if you want to buy other packs there's other things and purchases so you see here in the settings you can go to purchases you'll see the Adobe, Adobe Cam camera pack and the Adobe effects pack that you can add at $4.99 or $2.99 and um, so you had even more possibilities to the program. Um, I would say that this is probably one of the best photo um, modification, photo enhance program on iOS. Um, and it's just free. It's the easiest to use, really not complicated. You can play around with your pictures improve them, save them, and uh, share directly from the app. So Adobe Photoshop Express, free of charge on the App Store. Go and get it while it's there. And um, really, really worth the download, that's for sure. Um, and it works for iPod Touch, iPhone, and um, the iPad. Uh, basically all iOS devices with cameras. Um, I believe that your your uh, iOS device needs to be pretty new. Uh, it doesn't work with older devices. Of course it doesn't work with second, first, second generation iPod touches that don't have cameras. Um, I believe. Um, yes, you can have photos and still modify them though. But um, I think it's a fairly, um, it needs a fairly recent device to work. So if you enjoy our reviews of apps for the uh, iPad, iPhone and iPod Touch, please uh, subscribe to our channel and you'll be informed when new videos are online. 
you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know and we'll try to put a uh, video uh, online if you also have a uh, request of an app that you'd like us to talk about. And uh, hope that you come back and watch our videos on the iPad Apps First Look channel. Bye-bye.